is. All right, this is cool. A, a handful of undergraduate students at Utah State University traveled to Florida's Kennedy Space Center to watch the launch of their very own satellite. New specialist Brittany Tate spoke with the students, and uh, Brittany, we're seeing real-time images of outer space because of these young minds. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Deanie and Mike, not only did this student-built satellite survive the deployment into space, but now it's sending back pictures, potentially hundreds, maybe even thousands, depending on how long the satellite lasts, and we can learn from all of them. I've worked the last four years on this, you know, long nights, uh, all day, every day, sometimes, whatever it took basically to get it done. Utah State University undergraduate students on the getaway special team have been shooting for the stars for years. It's very small. Um, so everything, the battery, the radio, our computer is all inside of this little box. All of their efforts and research put into building a four-inch cube satellite with solar panels on the sides that would have the capability to transmit data back to Earth. Earlier this week, scholars watched as their creation successfully deployed from the International Space Station. Standing by for the visual confirmation. <laughs> And then there was about a 35 minute period where we were waiting for the satellite to boot up and eventually we heard the, our audio beacon. And then a personal touch. From hundreds of miles away in outer space, the students heard a tune every true Aggie knows. And you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out this is a big deal. And so to hear that little tune of the Scotsman was, that told us that everything we had done we did it right. All of the testing we had done, it, it all worked. Every five minutes, the satellite sends a Morse code message and then plays a portion of the USU Scotsman fight song. People around the world who just have, you know, inexpensive radio setups, you know, under $100 could point their antenna up into the sky and hear the Scotsman. This technology and achievement leads the nation and is easily out of this world. Every part of this satellite was built, designed, tested, and assembled by completely undergraduates. These students are all volunteers. No class credit was given for this. Just proof that when shooting for the moon, you will land among the stars. The primary goal of this mission was to deploy that inflatable boom and transmit a picture down. So we've completed our primary mission. It's been 100% successful. When I was chatting with these students earlier this evening, they told me at that time the satellite was currently about 250 miles away, but they do say that it's moving very quickly at about an average of seven kilometers per second. What an accomplishment. Very cool. Mike, we're just so proud of them. Oh, yeah. I know exactly where I'll be pointing my radio antenna tonight. I want to hear the Scotsman. That's very cool. The, the way they reacted oh, yes. to that, that was priceless. That reaction was priceless. So well done. Great story. Thank you.